Last time we left off, we were able to actually get our comments activity going here. So if I click on a particular post, it will take us to the comments activity. And we can see that the post gets displayed up here, but we don't have any comments loading yet. So that's what we're going to work on this one. We're going to work on using retrofit to get the RSS feed for the comments thread. So if we're looking at Reddit itself and I was to click on a post, go to the comments thread, we're going to work on getting this information. So how we're going to do that is we can actually just go to the RSS feed of the comment thread itself. And here we have it right here. So if I go to a code beautifier, which I have right here, I can go to slash RSS viewer and let's grab this URL and let's load the URL and oops. And let's actually take a look and see what the data looks like. Did I cancel that? There we go. All right. So it looks like we have repetitions of those entry tags once again just like before this actually looks very very similar to what we were looking at before with the posts it's actually so similar that we're going to be able to use the same classes as we did in uh, getting the feed so we're going to be able to use these these same classes to extract the information from the comments because as you can see it is wow what i have so many code beautifiers open um, this is uh this is almost identical to the data model for the post that we were seeing before so that's good, less work is always better. And to start off, we're gonna go into our comments activity. What we need to do is, actually I should use this to, to explain it. What we Right now we have this base URL and what we're gonna need to extract is this section right here because Retrofit requ requires you to use a base URL. So what we need to do is go into comments activity, take the post URL, which is going to be this full URL right here and we need to extract this piece right here because we can't we can't pass retrofit the whole thing because it requires you to have a base URL basically what I'm gonna do is take the URL and I'm gonna split it and I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna save that as a global variable so I'll show you what I mean down here I'm gonna go actually I'll create the global variable first go up here and go private string current feed and we'll go back down here and we'll go string split URL equals post URL dot split. And this is where we're gonna put our base URL, which I don't have in this activity. So I'll go to main activity and I'll just grab this. And I'll go to the top. There's our base URL. So base URL, and then I'll do current feed equals split URL, and I'll grab the second portion of it. So what, what split is gonna do is it will take the URL here, and it's gonna split it after that point, because that's the base URL. So if I grab the second portion of it, it's going to just grab this right here, and that's what current feed is going to be. And then just for debugging purposes, I'm going to log current feed just so I can Oops, I can make sure that everything is all good. And I'm gonna surround this in a try catch, which probably isn't gonna make sense to you, but um, I have found that through testing, I've tested this app a lot, and this is it can sometimes throw an array out of bound, array index out of bounds exception. And that's because if we go to um, the not suitable for work posts, it actually takes you to a separate page and it will mess this up. So, so basically you can't go to the not suitable for work post on Reddit or it will cause the app to crash. Well, it won't crash now that we have this try catch, but it will cause, you won't be able to view the comments. And if you, if you don't know what I mean by that, I'll put a little comment up here. Not suitable for work posts will cause an error. We can catch it with array index out of bounds exception. So that way at least the app won't crash. Okay, so now that we have our feed, we can start actually setting up everything that we need for retrofit. So let's go up into onCreate for now. And we'll do the same thing as we always do. We'll create our retrofit object. Retrofit.builder. Then we'll add the base URL. So base URL and add the converter factory. And in this case, we're gonna be using the JSON converter factory which I don't have did I not add that which I don't have yet so we got to go to the retrofit uh, library let's go this is actually my github 
So let's go to retrofit, retrofit GitHub, and we will grab the converter. So go retrofit converters. We're gonna grab the JSON converter, scroll down, copy that. And let's go back here. And we need to change our version to 2.2.0, which is the version that we're using up here. You just have to match whatever version is up there. And there we go, let's sync that. Okay, when that's done, we can close that. And now this should pop up. Now there's our JSON converter factory, do dot create and then dot, uh, dot build. There we go. Now we declare our feed API object. Retrofit dot create and do feed API dot class. And then we create our call, which is gonna get feed type and we'll import the feed object. It's gonna go, whoops, call equals feed API dot get feed, just like we had done in the past. We're just using this get feed method right here. And now in here, we're gonna pass the current feed, which is that. Because remember, I explained earlier, we snipped out the current feed here, and now we're appending it to the base URL right here. Now we just need to enqueue the call and create a new callback. Whoops, new callback. And we can copy some methods from main activity. Let's go down. Where is the error response? I probably would have had it already typed out by now, but there we go, there it is. And let's go back to on failure and change that to comments activity. And then we get the positive response, which is this one right here. I'll just paste that in there. Whoops. But we probably don't actually want to even see this information right here. Since we already have the data models already made up, we can actually get an array list of entries. So let's get an array list of entries here response dot body dot get entries and let's change this to a list import list there we go and then let's actually just create a for loop and let's loop through all of our data just to take a look at it make sure that everything's okay it's always a good idea so entries dot size and then i plus plus and i'm just going to print out the entries so entry and then just do plus entries entry dot oops dot get i dot to string and then i'm going to append a new line and a bunch of these i'll actually put it on the next line just so we can break up everything nicely and take a look at what we got okay so let's uh let's just let's run this and let's see what we what we're dealing with okay so let's type subreddit hit refresh click on a post and we actually got an error occurred. I, I didn't even get a server response. Um, what, what I'll try to do is go private, oops, private void init, and let's grab everything inside of retrofit and put it inside of init. And then I'm gonna call init after init post. And I'm gonna give that a try. I'm not really sure what happened there because I, I didn't see any errors. I didn't see what the feed was. Um, that was kind of weird. If if it doesn't work this time, I'm gonna rebuild and see see if that fixes it because that was that was sort of weird. So type in the feed again, once again, and let's uh, just click on one of these posts. It's loading the comments and it says an error occurred. Oh, here we go. Here's oh, okay. Here's an um, on fail failure message. It says malform Jason. Oh, I see. It's because I used this. <laughs> I'm using. I should be using the XML converter simple XML converter. That's why, because I don't know why I put the JSON uh, library there. That's my bad. Let's uh, let's rerun that. Hopefully that didn't confuse anybody. Okay, let's try that again. Click on a post. There we go. So we see it's getting the information now. So there's a ton of entries here. So we can start up here at the first one. We can see that it is actually pulling the information that I want. Here is the entries. So uh, I must have actually put another uh, line break inside of one of the object classes, so we can actually get rid of this. We don't need that. That just adds 
extra breaks. We don't need them. That was this long one right here. And you can see that it's actually grabbing, so like there's the title of the post, um, or sorry, the title of the comment, or the, sorry, the, the comment itself, the author of it, the uh, user's profile on Reddit, and then the ID of the comment itself. And so that's, that's really all we're gonna need to display, right? Like if we, if we uh, look at the other app, and we go to the comments, you just click on a post. So all, all we actually need is the, the comment itself, the author, and the date. And we have all that information here. So we have the, the date, we have the author, we have the comment itself. And then we, we also need the comment ID just so for, for replying purposes later. We need the comment ID so if we're gonna send a reply, we gotta reference that ID. So everything we have everything we need here. I'm gonna stop the tutorial here. In the next one, we're gonna build our object classes for organizing the data and actually displaying the information in card views. Don't forget to leave a like, follow me on Twitter for notifications when new tutorials are posted, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.